so earlier you saw another kind of that was a different kind of column okay so that was not working efficiently this one i usually use for vacuum filtration cup you can say that so what i will do i mean this one here you will get the clear water and at the top i will uh, add some beads okay as a support then i would add pozzolona then i would add i mean biojar then i would add i mean like different layers like you see in the slow sand filter or a different kind of filtration filtration system so here i am adding the support these are beads now i am adding pozzolona the bit layer then again i would add beads you can add sand pebbles or rocks now i am adding biochar then again beads now i'm again adding pozzolona but this is a uh, pozzolona from different source again adding beads now the system is ready for cleaning of the water or dye water now here you can see this is my dye rich water and uh, you can see the color of this so i will add slowly so you will see the clear water coming collecting in the tank here slowly and slowly the water is collected in the cup here so you can see here by drop by drop so if we compare with this one so this water is very clear as compared to the parent or you can say the pristine dye color water so basically what is happening the dye particles are being trapped or absorbed on the different layers of the material that we added pozzolona beads biochar then pozzolona then so basically it is being trapped between the layers of the biochar and the pozzolona this is the manual you can say manual column so now you can see it has almost filters 50% of the water forgot to tell you that uh, i mean the old or manual setup i mentioned in the video uh, that was not well recorded so we will stick to this um, to the demonstration of this uh, manual or you can say adsorption column in our next videos we will see how the automated column works how to automated system works okay which will be using a pump to force the liquid to pass through this column okay